Sweet, salty foods and cocktails often make a special appearance this time of year, but according to one healthcare expert, so do heart attacks. Good evening, everyone. I'm Justin Kent. Deanna is off tonight. News 10's Riley Connell has a few tips on staying heart healthy for the holidays. When getting into the holiday spirit, it's hard not to overindulge. A lot of sweets, a lot of cookies and baked goods. Unhealthy food, a lot of sugar, especially candy. But if people aren't careful, even small lifestyle changes can put strain on the heart. This particular holiday season is usually the worst. Dr. Christopher Hansen says it's not just big meals, sweet treats, and alcohol that can trigger a cardiac event, like a heart attack. People also face social and financial changes around the holidays that contribute to poor health. You know, people are traveling, people are visiting relatives, uh, people aren't taking their medications as prescribed because maybe you know, they've got a lot of things going on. All of these things, I think, together predispose people to having more of these events around the holiday season. Despite some of those risk factors, Hansen says there are a few simple steps people can take to keep their health on track. He says anyone already struggling with a heart condition should be mindful of their eating habits and keep alcoholic beverages to a minimum. As a general rule for every person, Hansen says it's best to keep things as simple as possible over the holidays to reduce overall stress. But there is never a bad time to start making healthier choices. It's a journey, right? You know, but those are things you should be thinking about. How can I optimize my health every day? A task that's easier for some than others. So I do the treadmill four or five times a week. Well, my husband and I have a pretty good exercise routine. But well worth it to make it through to another new year. In Lansing, Riley Connell, News 10. The American Heart Association says studies show an almost 15% increase in the number of heart attacks during winter holidays.